Life teaches us so many things. How to grow, how to learn, how to fall, but get back up, even stronger than before. But most of all, how to love. As I say my final goodbye, I just want you to know that through everything, you've always been my inspiration to do great things in life and to inspire others to do great things too. So I'll see you again one day. Love, your son, Paul Holland Jr. See, well, for me, my story, where I'm from, you had to survive. You had to survive by any means necessary. For me, I just got caught. Caught one too many times. Even being shot at by canes. That was nothing new to me, though. And this cop here, this cop had arrested me more times than I can count. And he knew. He knew I had one strike left. So he sat down and told me, you either change your life, or you end up here, or you can end up here. I mean, this dude could have easily, easily slapped me on the wrist and took me away, but he saw something in me. He knew potential I had that I didn't even know I had. So I knew right then I had to change my life around. You know what? He invited me over to his parents' house for dinner, for me to talk to his dad. At the time, I didn't know who he was, but his grandfather was a legendary, legendary coach. His dad hoped to find in his footsteps. So from then on, I knew, I knew, I knew deep down what I had to do. You know what? I had no other choice. I had to turn my life around. So I accepted his offer. <laughs> Who knew? That one trip, that one trip will lead me to stand for good. Now this is a make it break year. And the coach, he had a game plan in mind. A game plan which his dad wouldn't approve of, but he had to produce talent. He had to go out and get talent. And so that's what he did. He found himself a quarterback, a running back, a wide receiver, or corner, but most of all, a defensive end. And that defensive end is Antoine Burkewell. His son was trying to tell him about this kid, Antoine. Even though he was a trouble kid, this kid had tremendous talent. Tremendous talent that this kid yet has yet to realize that he has. So, son was telling about this kid, and eventually, the coach wanted to meet this kid. Now for a scrawny kid like me, football really wasn't on top of my list. But when I put my mind to something, I'm gonna do it. You know what? I was determined to be on that football field. Determined to be on the varsity team. So the entire summer, I was grinding. I was working my ass off every single day. Determined to make the varsity team. So you want to talk about lifting weights? I pretty much slept in that weight room. Every single day I was getting stronger, faster, more determined. Now believe me when I say, I want to be the best, the best that ever was. That's, a, that's the mindset I was in. Nobody wasn't going to stop me from making this varsity team. So I went from not even being mentioned a six foot 170 pound skinny kid to this to a six foot six 230 pound monster yes that's me when i see all this hard work paid off it definitely did so i went out and went out to try for the varsity team now coach told me if i can set the varsity quarterback one time just one time he would guarantee me a spot on the varsity team. Now at this moment in time, we had the number five dual threat quarterback in the country. And he was pretty much the fastest person on the team. And I told him, you know what? 
You ain't seen nothing yet. My parents always taught me there's three keys to success, repetition, habit, and intention. And I intend to be the best receiver in the nation year in and year out. If you don't know by now, my name is Theo Hammond. And look, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for a state title. And to be honest, the only way we do that is if I get the ball. And look, I'm not selfish. I'm just saying I give us the best chance to win. But me, I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be the leader on this team. I'm going to lead the way with this receiving core. And quite frankly, I think we got ourselves a championship team. What's good, Create Nation? I hope y'all really enjoyed the video, man. I ain't gonna do no shout out. Big thank you to those franchise gaming K Freezy TNJ. I thank y'all for that, man. But just gonna give y'all a rundown of what sliders and, and difficulty I'm playing on, as you can see on your screen. Now, I know this is not the real road to glory, just I wanted to think outside the box, you know what I mean? So, you now as far as when the whole championship game and under all under all american gameplay then i will get into the, the normal road to glory so i just wanted to bring something special give y'all you know a rundown of what you know i'm playing on so hope y'all like this series man it's gonna it's gonna be like no other that i've done man and right now i'm just going over the schedule i'm only doing five games in the normal you know seven to ten eleven like normal marietta north Gwinnett, sea grove mckeetra and east kawita are the teams that we're going to be playing, man. So, hopefully y'all really enjoy this series, man. It's going to be like no other. So, let's get straight into this game play. Yo, I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We take you inside the stadium now for a live look at the final moments of warm-up. The energy starting to build as we get closer and closer to kickoff. The fans are ready to go, and we're ready to tee it up. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Got it. What's good, Create Nation? And today, as you can see, we are going against the Marietta Blue Devils, I believe. And they're one of the best teams, the high school teams in the nation, so... <laughs> we get things cracking is Fidel goes for negative two yard rush on that play. That's second and twelve. Now, like I said, I will just be player locking on uh players on defense. Will not be switching. And every now and then I might switch and play on offense because the two of the other players are on offense. So I might do that from time to time. But they do pick up a first down on that last play. And a quarterback baby just tried to take off and he gets sacked. Now, I know 95% of y'all know this, but anytime you playing against a scrambling quarterback, nine times out of ten, they're going to take off. Come on, number eight. You got your back turned, man. Come on, man. 
But 95% of the time, the quarterback is going to scramble to the right. So if you shift the, you know, the defense line that way, oh, we there. We there. Let's go. You see that hustle, man. Let's go. And more than likely, they're going to run straight into a sack, man. But you guys are on third in a mile right here. We get our first sack of the season. Let's go. It's going to be a long season for these offensive linemen, man. But this is a play. I forgot to record, so I just had to sneak that in there. Got third and 15 right here. Don't do no screenplay. I love it when they do screenplays. I love it when they do screen. That should have been a pick six. Definitely should have been a pick six, man. We scored. We missed the point after the touchdown, man. In a re option, and we just thought too fast right there. He ran straight past the quarterback, man. That could have been a negative play. Now, like I said, it's going to be something special, man. Something really special. I'm going to be incorporating some, you know, trauma. I'm, that's why I'm trying to do incorporate some mod Grand Theft Auto that be involved in this series. So it's going to be big, man. It's definitely going to be big, man. But third in a mile here. Another screen pass, man. This stop, man. Let's go. Let's go, man. And the defense finally, finally. Put another touchdown on the board. But there, man, you not going to know what gets this defense, man. Let him know. Let him know, man. All right, second half action, man. The defense is definitely stepping up and, and doing our thing, man. As well as the offense. Come on, man. Y'all right there in zone coverage, man. I don't like playing man coverage because your defense plays stupid. But a lot of times you're gonna see a lot of a lot of zone coverage, man. And Videl, he picks up seven yards on the play. So that's gonna bring up a second and three. Another read option, man. And we somehow, some way we make a tackle on that play, but now that the baby picks up the first down. And we will be bringing constant pressure, man. Constant pressure. So I see they wanna Oh he dumped it off to Gilbert, the real life LSU commit, and he picks up six. I think that dude gonna be a straight beast in that offense, man. Most definitely. Thirty one, pretty sure this gonna be a run. The read option, yep, straight up the gut, man. Oh, we cannot stop this running back, this drive. And he went straight up the middle, untouched to pick up fifteen on the play. Thirty nine, man. Let's make a play. Let's go. Let's go. That's the third sack of the game, man. Let's go. I mean, our offense is stalling out a little bit. This definitely stalling out. So this is anybody's game. And we try to make a play. And we make a play. He only, we hold him for a one-yard rush on the play. Second and nine. Another read option. They are determined to get this running back the ball. And he is definitely, it is definitely playing off, man. Most definitely. Fourth quarter action, man. This is what champions made of. We just, just hold on to that ball a little split second longer. That's all I'm asking, man. Just hold on to a split second longer. As they are marching, man. They are trying to really make this a game. Come on. Dude, how is not a fumble, dude? How is that not a fumble? Like, yo. Oh, yeah. Y'all see the hustle, man. Y'all see the speed and the hustle, man. But like I said, as far as school, look, come on, man. That man be doing freaking cartwheels, man. Like, really? Cartwheels. We ain't complaining, no. 36. And we just, I'm telling you, just hold on to that ball for a split second later, please. That's all I'm asking, man. And they are really, they are really trying to make this a game. Man, this is like the third straight time he got the ball off just a second. That's what we get to, man. It's frustrating. And they are knocking on the door, scoring, man. A nice little draw play, and he just running straight through our defense. Straight through the defense, man. They are knocking at the door. So if they score, it's plenty of time to, 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 to put some more points on the board, most definitely. Let's go! Let's go, man! That's what I'm talking about. But our offense cannot put points on the board, and there's still plenty of time left on the clock. I know the draw player, they are determined 
to get this running back the ball, man. Running plays is not going to do it. Running plays is not going to do it. And he's nearly the century mark on the ground this game. Just over two minutes in the game. I, I don't see why they just running the ball right there. And we, come on, we disrupted, man. But we want them sacks, man. That's what it's all about. Oh, come on, man. Y'all right there. And Gilbert picks up 19 on the play, man. Y'all are right there to make plays, man. We playing zone coverage, and y'all, he got all day, man. We'll take that. We'll take that for that five-yard loss. We'll take that, man. A third and a mile here. Everybody in cover four, man. Don't get beat deep. Oh, you will take that. We going to take that. Nice play. Let's eat. All right, man. It's fourth and 11. Fourth and 11, man. Just don't get beat deep, man. Please don't get beat deep. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. All right, let's go, man. Let's make a play. Let's make a play. Come on, we just over missed it. Let's go, man. But that's the end of the game, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it, man. I really, really, really thank y'all, man. Thanks for joining us. And we played the game, so thank y'all for rocking with me. It's me, Craig, and I'm signing off. Everyone here at EA Sports, Brad.